All right, everybody, welcome to our Saturday special. We really got deep down in the bag on this one. And we all know, as my co-host David Cohn and our friend Burt Reynolds joins us to the right, that, that there are actors that used to be athletes. There's athletes that do some acting while they're still playing, when they retire, guys that played in college and then went on to be actors. So we decided, as the three amigos here, to rank one out of 10 certain athletes slash actors or athletes that acted uh, in movies and commercials and stuff like that. So the best way to do this, obviously, is to do it the old school way. You pull names out of a hat, we'll run the clip, and then we'll give our rankings. I love it. Y'all feel good about it? Blaine, you want to go, go ahead, first? Blaine. First? You yep, you go ahead. Uh, yep. Go ahead, yep. Bert. Go ahead, Mr. Reynolds. Go ahead, Bert. Go them boys. You might be in there, actually. <sighs> well, I've been in many movies, so. You have. Yeah. Satan's Alley. Bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, you were great in that. <laughs> Me and Toby. All right, Ray Allen. Ray Allen. He got he game. He got game. He got game. Spike Lee. All right, let's go ahead and run it. This is a great movie, by the way. Yeah, let's go ahead and run it. We'll, we'll give our judgment at the end. What? This whole world is bugged. <laughs> and you're in it with him, huh? You're in cahoots with DeAndre and Dom. Don't even lie. Tell me the truth. I, I knew that ever since I left that house, ever since I walked in the house, matter of fact. And why shouldn't I get paid? Huh? Why shouldn't Lila get something out of this? Everybody else is. <laughs> I can't even believe this. I really can't. Yeah, look, I'm going to be honest. Uh... I'm not blown away by it. I've seen this movie. It's a good movie overall. This scene just really didn't do it for me. I, I feel like Ray is a guy who, who's an elite three-point shooter. He doesn't miss a lot. I feel like he missed on this. It's a five out of 10 for me. Dude. It's a five? It's a five it's out a five. of 10. But I'm going to go a solid six. I'm going to go a solid six. It's, it's, a, it's a great film, and his performance is made better because Spike Lee knows what he's doing. Plus, I think this was he was only two years in the league when this came out. So he got a lot going on. You know, It's a good performance. Yeah, trash. <laughs> <laughs> Three out of ten. That Three out of ten. What about the movie? Decent. Okay, but, but that <laughs> scene was trash. Yeah, the, the that way he scene trans- was r- a little rough. Yeah, the, the way he transitioned into anger just I went. Oh, yeah, that was the definition of forcing. <laughs> that was forcing. Try to give him a solid. Scene. Like, listen, there's a couple hey, hands wanna, in your face. Pass it off to open three point shooters. Do you want to pull any of these? Or you just want me to pull. You can pull another. Pull one. them, and we'll change it up in a bit. Okay, you know, we'll pass it around. Okay. Yeah. Lance Armstrong. Dodgeball. Okay, let's run the clip. This movie is an absolute classic, and I will not hear any blasphemy. Go ahead and play it. I think you better hurry up or you're going to be late. Actually, I decided to quit. Lance. Quit? You know, once I was thinking about quitting when I was diagnosed with brain, lung, and testicular cancer all at the same time. But with the love and support of my friends and family, I got back on the bike, and I won the Tour de France five times in a row. But I'm sure you have a good reason to quit. So what are you dying from that's keeping you from the finals? If a person never quit when the going got tough, they wouldn't have anything to regret for the rest of their life. Listen, I know they weren't asking a lot, but he did what they wanted him to do there. I mean, he was serious, to the point, also funny because it's dry humor. I'm going to go 7 out of 10. I I know Lance, he probably didn't cheat to make that thing good, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm going 7 out of 10. Hmm. Cone? I'm going to go 6 again. You're going six. six. You know, not that he did a bad job, but like you said, he wasn't asked to do a lot, just kind of set his lines. But he didn't mess anything up. Look, classic movie, and he didn't ruin it. So there's a good start. I'm going to go seven here. felt genuine to me. Okay. It felt genuine. It felt like he fit that role. Might not have been a huge role. Might really not have had to hit the different ends of the, of the feeling spectrum, you would say. But he knew his part, knew his identity, and he, he did it well. Seven. Seven. Huh? I go and, seven. Hey, well, and he went six, so I mean, yeah. it's not like it's a huge difference. Nah, it's a big number. Well, well it, it, again, you know, the Globo Gym did go on to lose because Peter LaFour made a big play at the end well, for I Average mean, Joe's. We all know that really happened. He played a crucial like, role the biggest, in, the, oh, in the, the narrative. The biggest play that got made in that movie was definitely Chuck Norris. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I, mean, it was it was, Ch- I mean, it was Chuck. For sure. It came down to it. I mean, his performance, I'd give a 10. Yeah, you better say it's a 10. Or- yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Like they say, you know, in Jurassic you Park. Get, you might get ninja chop. You know, in Jurassic yeah. Park. <laughs> a little ninja? <laughs> ninja yeah, chop. You, you know, in Jurassic Park, they say that the Jeep wasn't running, the T-Rex wasn't chasing the Jeep. It was running from Chuck Norris. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of I people know that. that. True story. He was running from Flaming Dragon. All right, The Rock plus Jer- Derek Jeter. And the other guys. Oh wow! Great film. Of course, of course. The let's other go ahead. Guys let's run this. Be- let, let's run it. Let me see it. Hi, uh, Sarah Capone from TMZ Print Edition. Uh, Danson, are the rumors about you and Kim Kardashian true? No comment. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Dancing and high Free hot dogs. No drinks. For life. Oh. 
No drinks. <laughs> no drinks again. <laughs> You'll never make a profit off that. Look, I, I'll say this: The Rock's a pretty good actor, man. Yeah. He he really is. He's a, does he play a similar role in a lot of movies? Yeah, but it's The Rock, fellas. Looking at this in conjunction, not just this one scene. I'm gonna aim for the bushes here. I'm going eight out of ten. I'll go nine. Wow. I'll go nine, and I'll go. You're nine. a hard grader. I'll go nine with Derek Jeter too. Hot dog vendor, more like a two performance. Not good at all. Look, The Rock and Derek Jeter. They can't help that the script's not good and that the movie wasn't excellent. They can't help that. Their performances are nines, Blaine. Sad, sad soul. I'm sad. Me? Sad. Yeah. It's okay. You're safe here. You're, it's a trust tree. You're disappointing all of us, okay. David. I'm going to be fine. honest. I'm not disappointed. I'm, not I'm disappointed. Mad, you know? I'm just glad you are who you want to be. Okay. That's what I'm glad. I'd give this a 7 out of 10. Um, I like The Rock. I think he does a good job, but he does. he is the same role in every movie. Um, he's decent to me. I mean, I don't get too excited. It's like, oh, The Rock's probably my favorite rock film would be Walking Tall. That is a good movie. You know, so I'd probably say that, but I'd say 7 out of 10. So, decent performance, great film. I'm saying great yes. performance, yes. bad film. Okay. Other guys is hilarious. I mean, we've had Taylor Lewan on here, so it's the most underrated movie he's ever watched. Yeah, and like Taylor said, I'm fine being on an island. That's fine. Yeah. Watch it twice. Yeah, look, you can catch- I like it a lot better when I only have to watch it in 30-second snippets, though. Wow. You're, you're okay. Oh, here's yeah. Derek Jeter. Well, yeah, let, let's go ahead and play Derek Jeter's part. Let's grade this one separately. Game seven of the World Series. With all the marbles, high pressure on Rooley Crowd, and I pulled tunnel duty. And I saw a shadowy figure in the tunnel. I told him to stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a restricted area. Finally, I pulled my gun, pulled the deadly weapon, and started running. Don't make me shoot, I'll do it. Are you deaf? You hear me, you freeze? I'm Derek Jeter, you shot me. Yeah, look, they didn't ask Derek a lot there. I'm just going to give it a smooth 7 out of 10. You got to get shot, go down, make it look like it hurt. Get up, let's high five on to the next scene. I'll go 7 out of 10. Four. The cap- The four? four? What do you want him to do? For the do? captain? I mean, I just, it's just, I didn't like it. It's like he could have done more. Give him a little more. Ah, like sure. what? What else the other thing you had to do was sit here and say his name. I'm Derek Jeter and you shot me. Can we get a little sure, more than that? Sure, a lot you don't like about a film that you call a classic. What do you mean? I gave the other one a, a 7. You know, as a Yan- it, it, Blaine being a Yankees fan and giving that one a four. A Yankees, you, you Look, Yankees honesty, fan over there. I'm not going to, just because I'm a fan of somebody doesn't mean I'm not going to speak to you. It's honesty hour? Is yeah. what you're saying? It's honesty hour. Okay. Welcome to Cranny Company. Hashtag it's honesty hour. Map and push up. All right, let's we'll do give it. the captain a seven and let's move on. You gave him a seven? Let's do it. I mean, I knew you loved the other guys. I knew it. Two seven out of tens? Come on now. Michael Jordan, Space Jam. Now we're talking. Okay. Now we're heating up. Okay. No, okay. Let, let's go ahead and run it. We know what's up here. Oh, uh, look out for that toy step, Doc. It's a real Lulu. Bugs Bunny. Eh, you were expecting maybe the Easter Bunny? You're a cartoon. You're not real. Not real, eh? If I weren't real, could I do this? <laughs> All right, well, con- considering Space Jam 2 and LeBron's acting job was so bad, he might as well be Daniel Day-Lewis. But exactly. uh, first Space Jam, great movie. I thought, Michael, you see him wake up. He, he does the cross eyes. He's... Really all in, yep. and I can respect that. Is he the greatest actor ever? No, but it's Michael Jordan. Just be good. Good to me. I'm going to give it a 6.5. 10. 10? 10. Really? Yeah. 10. Why? Because it's great. It's great. You just He's love Michael great. Jordan. I mean, I'm moved. I'm emotionally moved. I, I believed that the Monstars were going to win. I felt bad for the cartoons, and he comes back, and he dunks. He even stretched his arm that far at the end for the dunk in real I'm life. I'm surprised, like, like, a, no like a North Carolina jersey and, like, Jordan's art <clears throat> magically appearing on you at the uh, we talk about it. Can we, uh, can we get my uh, North Carolina jersey in here, please? Yeah, yeah, but, hey, I'm going to give this a 9 idea. out of 10. You're going 9. I respect okay. I think, it. Michael, you, you can really appreciate Michael pay attention to details. Yeah. Yeah. He got up. His, his emotions on his face, everything matched. I mean, he's out here kissing bunnies. Like, let's go ahead and give him a nine. Let's okay. Give him a nine. All right. Well pull, done. Pull the next one. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting I have this in my hand. Wow. How about that? LeBron James. Wow. Really? Good. LeBron let's James. go ahead and wow. play this natural disaster. Yeah, I'm going zero out of ten. I uh, saw the movie. Yeah. Saw the movie. It was terrible. Look, and people say, "Oh, it's because you, know, you don't like LeBron off the court." I've talked about how great LeBron is off the court, uh, on the court. I'm just watching him for acting skills. You can't do it. He does a lot better job acting on the court when he flops. <laughs> That's his best acting. Okay, job so wait, you've seen this one though. You've seen yeah. this film. 
This is the first one on the list that I have not seen the entire movie. So I'm just judging off this clip, the performance in this clip. And yeah, it's a zero. It's a zero. I haven't seen this movie either. Okay. Um, but the reason I haven't seen it, because I knew it was going to be bad. Like, you're not going to be able Some movies should never, ever have a, a sequel to them. I know. Do you see where Conor McGregor is going to be in the new Roadhouse they're making? I can't believe they're making really? it. Like, some movies never should Roadhouse. have a sequel. Like, I really don't think that happened. This is one of those movies. I refuse to see it. I wouldn't go zero out of ten because that's just... It's just wrong. Oh, if I could go negative one, I would. It's just wrong. So I'm going to go two out of ten. You're two, going two right. out of ten. Yeah. That's because you love LeBron. No. It's not Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm, on the court, I mean. Swing. I, I, I've said it. Off the court, no. I mean, it's a two out of ten movie. How should I grow up? Um, Tom Brady and Ted. Oh. Ted. This is a good one. This is a good find by producer Justine here. Let, let's run it. What the hell? Mr. Brady, we just need a moment of your time. What are you sir, doing sir, here? Who are you? Get out of my house! Mr. Brady, the service for you to call a cop! Wait, 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 Mr. Brady, take your teddy bear back here! Ah! Holy shit, perfect spiral! <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, look. Tom Brady, again, I'll, I'll go back to what I said about Jeter. Go back to what I said in the beginning. They didn't ask him to do too much. He didn't force it. I didn't feel like that was fake. I feel like he literally woke up scared. We know that's probably about the fourth or fifth time that somebody tried to break into his house that week because it is Tom Brady. And he did throw a perfect pass to Bear to Mark Wahlberg and vice versa. So I'm going to give Tom a 7 out of 10. Strong 7. You showed up. It meant something to you. I'm going 7 out of 10. Look, I'm going 10 again. Did everything that was asked of him. I was moved by that performance. You were you know, moved. Having to wake up in the middle of the night. Has like nothing to do stuff. with him being a Michigan quarterback. And we're number 12. How, how dare you? Okay. How dare you? Right. That performance right there was a 10, even though I'm not a fan of Ted. Also, fun fact, did you know that he has a little bit part in Stuck on You as well? I didn't know that, I but... Did. He's like one of the You're computers. You're not a fan of Ted? You're not a fan of no, Ted? Fan. You don't like the other guys or Ted? No, I'm not a big fan of Ted. What happened to you? Y'all like Ted? I thought y'all didn't like Ted. No, I do, I, I do like Ted. Oh, okay. I think it's good, especially the not, first what one. What do you not like about it? <clears throat> I'm not a Ted fan. I like Family Guy, though. I thought Seth MacFarlane might do a better job with the film, but... Man, I don't I think know. Ted's I, yeah. I think Ted's hilarious. Yeah, I think Ted's hilarious. I go eight out of ten here. You go eight. Um, I'm going to deduct two points because that bear did look a little bit deflated. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thought well I'd throw that one out. Well played. So now he has to pump the footballs up too, huh? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Do it. Gotcha. Okay. Cardi and Cola, do it. Do it, do it. Shaq, Gazam, and plus... Any commercial ever made. Yes. yes. Shaq's in every, everything. He's in every commercial. Every There's commercial. not one commercial that doesn't have Shaq. Forever. But let's play this. This is a movie I used to watch all the time. Gonna make this a mystery. Don't wanna do time on your wishes three. Watch it, boy. You don't wanna diss me, or I'll dish out my misery. Now, who's that sorry wannabe that disturbed my scene? Thank God that ended. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't uh -oh. seen that in a while. I, I thought it was a lot better than that. I'm gonna have to go. Three out of ten. Shaq's really done a, a better job as he's gotten older, but that, uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. Is. Boy, he's come a long way, hasn't he? That was not Because his commercials are phenomenal. This right here, I've got to struggle to give a five. I'd rather oh, say, I'd rather the just. The thing about it is, like, Shaq and Grown Ups is a lot better than Shaq and Kazam. Way better. Way Shaq better. and commercials with the general is yeah, way yeah. better. Turns out moms are always right. And it turns out the general is a quality insurance company that's been saving people money for nearly 60 years. Uh, I'm going zero out of 10. That was terrible. I was, I was like nails on a, on a chalkboard. God, yeah, I, I couldn't I, wait for it to end. I was reaching. You know, it's the first time Shaq's gotten a three in a while. But. Now, I'm not saying Shaq, Shaq doesn't have bars. He probably has bars. But right there, no. no. Get off the stage. You're from Cranberg, dog. All right, Burt Reynolds, hashtag me, and Deliverance. Oh, let's play the yes. clip. This thing's going to be hanging over us the rest of our lives. We got to get rid of that guy. It's just how are you going to do that, Lewis? Where? Anywhere. Everywhere. Nowhere. <laughs> hmm. What? Yeah. Uh, look, Deliverance is a very interesting movie. Burt Reynolds was a great actor, in my opinion, but I'm going to have to go five out of ten there because I think that's really? a five out of ten anywhere, everywhere. So Mr. Reynolds? And nowhere. Yeah. And I'm, look, I'm calling it like I see it, David. Call me David because I'm calling it a spade, dog. 
Call the like spade that. a spade. That's good. Uh, look, Burt Reynolds, one of my acting idols, I actually got to work with him on a film called Hamlet and Hutch in Atlanta. Probably not one that you have seen or heard of. Oh, what do you but, mean? I have that the DVD. You got it on Blu-ray? Yeah. Look, just out of respect for Mr. Reynolds, I'm going 8.5. Wow. Deliverance, classic. I'm going to go 4 out of 10. I feel dumber for having to watch that, <laughs> to be honest. What did I just watch? Like, what, what does that even mean? Have you seen Deliverance? Yeah, no. hold, on, oh, hold on. We're man. pulling clips out from a, a you know, a two-hour movie here. Okay, You're talking man. about what does it mean? I mean, <laughs> they're all I'm talking about the clip, not the movie. I don't know what that means. Like, sometimes, like, there's a clip on here to where I knew what Shazam, whatever that was, Kazam meant, somewhat. I was Shaq rapping, but what? It's everywhere. It's nowhere. Never here, but anywhere. <laughs> what? Who? What happened? Yeah, so Bert, where's your mustache? Look, Deliverance is a good movie. That, but again, I, I've got to go back and watch it. That scene really never it didn't it. get my emotions percolating there. But th that doesn't make me want to watch it. <laughs> Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Airplane. Airplane. Oh, God, I love this movie. Okay, let's go ahead and run this one. Look, it's playing. I think you're the greatest, but my dad says you don't work hard enough on defense. And he says that lots of times you don't even run down court. And that you don't really try, except during the playoffs. The hell I don't. <laughs> Listen, kid. I've been hearing that crap ever since I was at UCLA. I'm out there busting my buns every night. Tell your old man to drag Walton in the near up and down the court for 48 minutes. <laughs> Look, Airplane's a great movie. Not bad. That, that's what I haven't seen in a while. Uh, but it is a great movie. Not bad by Kareem there at all. Really embraced it. You know, the movie Airplane, he's trying to pretend he's not Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Guys, I'm going 8 out of 10. Hmm. Airplane, that's a solid comedy, okay? But I'm going 6 on the performance. I'm going to go 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, and there's no way he can ever fit in any Airplane's cockpit. <laughs> no, for sure. There's no way. You got a better chance of just riding Kareem huh? Abdul-Jabbar where you go. I'm a realist. I mean, he's really tall. Touché. Well, we've ridden in an Airplane together. Yeah, you can fit in Airplane. The cockpit? You know, can I you get up there the and fly? I go yeah. fly. Would they have to put like like a hole in it where your head has to go up, like a periscope thing where you can see? I'd be more comfortable. <laughs> All right. All right, O.J. Simpson in Naked Gun. Oh, Ooh, yeah. O.J. This is a killer scene. Let's go ahead and run the clip. Kill him. Well, you know, if, again, if I didn't know what I knew about OJ and just, you know, thought it was an athlete, it wasn't that bad. But again, I think that's the type of movie where you not being a good actor helps the movie. Like, it kind of helps okay, it in that scenario. So, he did play his role. He's also a murderer. So, I'm going to give it 4 out of 10. Okay, so you're just going to combine all I'm going to combine everything. I'm taking everything in. Not, a, not an awesome performance, but the blocking was complex. It's not his fault they asked him to do a bunch of silly stuff. I'll give him at least a 5. Yeah, I'm going to uh, go at a 3 out of 10. I mean, I'm not 11. <laughs> like, that's not funny. <laughs> you're not what? You're so not, 11. not 11 years old. It's not funny. Yeah, it's really, like, like, about home, 10. Home, yeah. home Alone-ish to me. <laughs> it was very Home Alone-ish. Like, no, no, Home Alone's better than that. Home For alone. sure, because it's a child. <laughs> That's why it's better. <laughs> not a grown fair that is, Look, I'm hey, not gonna, when Joe Pesci, solid point. I mean, when Joe Pesci is out here getting hit, I mean, I, I feel it. I feel like I got hit by the iron when Joe Pesci gets hit by the Yeah. Because like, he sells it. For sure. I'm but sold. It, it's because it's a child. Yeah. Well, not, in real life. Not, Did you ever hear the mental. conspiracy about how Home Alone, like, they grew up to be like the guy from Saw? Like it was him, really? Because he like did all those contraptions when he was little. That it's like one of those Reddit conspiracies. I just want to know what Mr. McAllister from Home Alone does for a living. Like he's flying all Fun. all these family members over to Paris, you know? Well, for Christmas. How do you leave your kid at house. the airport? How do you leave your kid twice? Like you hate that kid. Who's the worst parent? parent. They're, them or Liam Neeson? I don't know. That's a good call. That's a point, poll right you know. there. Yeah, that's no, there's a, poll. a poll. Mike Tyson in The Hangover. Oh yes, yes. play this. <laughs> Mike Tyson? This is my favorite part coming up right now. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. 
Kirkland guy. But I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. One more time, guy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh. Why did you do that? <laughs> uh, look, I'm going to be honest. I'm going 10 out of 10. Yep. I thought Mike was great in this. I thought it was great when he was on the piano. Uh, I, I'm going 10 out of 10. Look, for, for Tyson, you got to go 10 out of 10. It's, I don't want to go beat me 2 up. out of 10 on the singing, though. Maybe zero. I'm going to go 10 out of 10 purely out of fear. Yes. <laughs> yes. We'll somehow see. Agreed. This. Or like he's behind That's, me. You know what we call that? We call that insurance. Yeah. yeah. What that is right there. All right, let's go to the next one Terry Crews in White Chick. Yes. Oh, this mm. is, yes. Play this. Have you ever had oysters? <laughs> Did you know oysters are an aphrodisiac? Oh, 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 sorry. Oh. Tongue is kind of big. <laughs> his tongue is huge. It's bigger than his mouth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, he's just great. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to have a coronary. <laughs> oh, here. man. Look, I'm going 11 out of 10. Yeah. He's great in that whole movie when he's singing the, the making my way downtown. Making my way downtown. Walking what? fast. Faces past and I'm homebound. Like in the car. Terry Crews is hilarious to me. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going 11 out of 10. Best performance <laughs> so far that we've had. <laughs> 10 out of 10, man. It's just, that's just the first time I saw that movie. I'll never forget it. It was so funny. All right. LT, Waterboy. Mm. Yes. Quarterback. So what I do is I, I start tackling the quarterback. Unless he gives the ball to somebody else, in which case I'll, I'll try to tackle that person. <laughs> hmm. Gentlemen, what brings me to my next point, don't smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the irony in this is that obviously LT got arrested for drugs. He was in Any Given Sunday as well. That performance was a lot better. Listen again, not asked to do a lot. And we actually got a clip. Let's, oh, let's play it yes, from Any Given Sunday right here. Let's go ahead and a little add-on here, a little appetizer. Your balance? Talking about check balance? Looking P-H-A-T, baby. Fat. All right, go on, get out of here. You're done. Yeah. Have another shot, Doc. Yeah. You don't need it. Doesn't make any sense. Medically. Don't give a shit about medical, Doc. Give some of that cortisone shit. Please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give me eight out of ten. True story. Great movie, Any Given Sunday. Oh, my goodness. I, first of all, I've always loved his performance in that movie. Man, I just think he's, he's fantastic. I mean, I know he's kind of playing himself, you know, in, in a, to a large extent, but I love that performance. 10 out of 10, as far as the Waterboy goes, just throw on another 10. Yeah, let's do it. I go 7 out of 10 in Waterboy. thought it was a, a above average performance. I give him more credit for not sitting there and laughing his ass off while Adam Sandler's... That's true, I couldn't That's that. part of it. Right, so I'll give him a little extra that. And um, any given Sunday, I'm going to go 8. 8, yeah. eight okay. out of 10. I respect that. I like I respect it. That. I like it. All right, All here right. we go. What a good film. Kevin Garnett in Uncut Gems. <sighs> yes. I did not like this movie. I was movie. hoping this one... Let's go ahead and play it. At this oh, thing, okay. No, Just this. look at this. Hang on for a second. Go through my look. Be careful. That's my best look. All right. I want you to look. Look at it. You really hit right to it. That's history right there. You understand? How many carrots is this? Good. What? Four, five thousand carrots? Three thousand dollars a carrot? I'm not. Why has it got so many colors in it, man? What is this? That's the thing. They say you can see the whole universe in Opal. That's how fucking old they are. I, I, did, I did not like this movie. Loved Hustle. Typically love every Adam Sandler movie. Not that I hated it. You actually thought Kevin Garnett did a pretty good job in it, though. I, I will, I'll give him a 7 out of 10 because yep. he had a, a pretty big role in this mm -hmm. movie. Did a really good job. And like he said, look, anything's possible. This wasn't just some cameo. Yeah. Right? like He was a, a part of the narrative of it. I'm going to go 7 as well, but I liked this film. Uh, it was nonstop action from start to finish, which is really tough to do. It was like almost Darren Aronofsky. -esque I didn't like the ending. I didn't see the new one. I didn't see the new one. Though. Hustle. Hustle. Is that you the need one to watch about? it. That's you need to watch it. It's better than this. Hey, one? in the comments, tell Cone how much he needs to watch Hustle. It's better than this one. Yes. Yeah. I really didn't enjoy this movie that much. Gotcha. To be honest, the ending was terrible. Um, it was terrible, or you just didn't like the way it ended. I mean, it was terrible. <laughs> I mean, what I'm trying to say is, I guess it didn't end the way you wanted it to. No, it just. Or, was a terrible ending. Okay. <laughs> just, just, that's it. Now, if it was like a good ending and I didn't like it, I mean, I'd put respect on its name, but in my opinion, it was a terrible ending. 
Gotcha. I didn't think Kevin Garnett did a great job. I'll give five out of ten. Wow. Really just mediocre performance. Wow. I do think Kevin's a great basketball player. He, yeah, One of he the was. best power forwards out there. For sure. Yeah. All right. We got Carl Weathers and Rocky. Rocky. Yes. Go ahead. Because there's still a lot of people out there that think he won. There's a lot of people out there accusing me of having a fight fixed, accusing me of being a fake and insulting my kids in school. That's why. Okay, listen, if, if you don't give this a 10, then I, I don't know what else you want. One of the most iconic movies, not just sports movies, movies in general of all time. Give me a 10 out of 10. Give this man an Academy Award. I'll go 10 as well. Yeah, I'd go 10, 10 in this. It was great and happy Gilmore. Yes. Um, true. True. Chubbs. I mean, he just, like, oh, the guy gets it. The guy can do it, man. Like, he's just a great actor. And <laughs> never feels forced. Yeah. No. Like, that damn crocodile took his finger. All right, one more. Gina Carano and Terror on yes. the Prairie. Yes. Yes. Roll this. And now they are visited upon your whole family. Hmm. Well, we saw this, saw the premiere, not only Gina in this, but in The Mandalorian. We can go to X-Men too, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 10 out of 10, easy. 12. 12, I love She's it. In Deadpool as well. Yes. Um, 10 out of 10. Yeah. Like, Gina's a badass, mm -hmm. dude. UFC fighter, actor, great person, or actress, excuse me, great person. Like, well, I don't know anything she can't do. To be honest. No, and, and again, that was I'm, I'm a, I like Westerns anyway. That was right up my alley. It was really great to go see that. But yeah, so again, had a, had a nice mix. Had some 0 out of 10s. Had some had a 12 out of 10. A lot of 6, what? 7, and 8s. Let me ask you all this. Go ahead. Okay, what would be what would be y'all's best and what would be y'all's worst? Worst is Space Jam 2. Easy for the me. The best performance in there? But the best, I would have to say, man, give me... Carl Weathers. And yeah, Rocky. maybe Carl Weathers. Yeah, I I'm worst. a big fan of Lawrence Taylor in any given Sunday, man. I really you got a worst. The worst, yeah, LeBron James. Yeah, Space Jam. Ew. Oh, what are we splitting hairs here? What's yours, Wayne? Best, I go Carl Weathers. Okay. Um, worst, probably that Burt Reynolds. Really? Burt Reynolds and Deliverance. Really? Uh, Come on, man. You're getting culture in your life. Torch for that. I don't care. I know you don't. You're flaming dragon. Yeah, I am the fire. Wow. And you are Charizard. Well, please tell us, what was your favorite? What was the best? What was the worst? Let us know where we were wrong, how Blaine is unbelievably wrong about Burt Reynolds and Deliverance. But make sure you subscribe. Crane & Company everywhere. TikTok, social media. You can find us at Crane Company. Again, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're having a great weekend as well. Make sure you check us out next week. Football season is upon us.